Hey friend, Chris Vandeviver here from Logic Pro Expert. Now in this set of videos, both Eli and I are going to take the arrangements, the scenes that we've put together from the last set of videos in the live loop section and start to record some arrangements or remixes. Now, since the last videos that we filmed, both Eli and I were talking and he helped me kind of realize that even though live loops is all about non-linear production, the way I approached it was completely linear. I had a left to right sort of sequence that I put together and the scenes from three to 11 are exactly that. I'm gonna fire each one off and record from left to right. And really the true power of the live loop section is the sort of spontaneity that nothing really is about creating a song sequence. It's more about just trying out different riffs and, and coming to ideas that we wouldn't normally arrive at in a more linear style of production. Just for the satisfaction of laying down the scenes that I've come up with, I'm going to do that. I'm going to record the scenes as I heard them. And after that, we're gonna try a more non-linear style of approach. And I'm gonna try to reimagine this song on the fly. Okay, to set up your session to record from the live loop section into the main tracks area, it's very simple. We just go right up here to this button that has an R in it. And once enabled, Logic is now primed to record any scenes or cells that are enabled directly into the tracks area. Now we just have to hit record. So I'm gonna to navigate to the beginning here and we'll start right there. And let's just give it a try, here we go. And just like that, we've recorded our arrangement. For now, let's turn this off, close down the live loop section, switch the view over to the main tracks area. And just like that, we have have all of our tracks recorded. It's been looped where it's appropriate. And we can even trim up the tail end here just by removing this guitar part, you know, adjusting the loop section. And so this is a really easy and great way to record directly into the main tracks once you have an arrangement that you're happy with. But once again, this is about spontaneity and not the linear approach of recording left to right. Instead, now we're gonna record just some random bits. I'm try playing around a little bit just to prepare myself because, because admittedly, it's a little intimidating to me. I'm very much an analytical sort of linear style of thinking, but I have some ideas. We're gonna, once again, we're gonna change our view over to the live loop section here. And I'm just gonna start out by selecting some of the cells here and we'll see how this goes. Here we go. We can fly away, we can, we can fly away. We can fly away, we can, we can fly away. We can fly away, we can, we can fly away. We can fly away, we can, we can fly away. We can fly away, we can, we can fly away. We can fly away.
Cool. So that was very much on the fly. I wasn't too sure how this was going to turn out. So I'm happy that it was at least something. But very cool. Now we have two different arrangements based on the same material. And I think that really proves the versatility of the live loop section. Thinking less and just feeling the music more can lead to just a tremendous fun and tremendous insights into possibilities and ideas for creating music. I hope that was helpful for you. Once again, I'm Chris Vandeviver with Logic Pro Expert.